Good evening, everyone. It is Monday, May 1st, 2023, 6.30. It is time for the regular meeting of the Wheeling Village Board. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk Brady. Trustee Vogel. Here. Trustee Papantos. Present. Trustee Vito. Here. Trustee Lang. Here. Trustee Kruger. Present. Trustee Rafato. Here. President Horker. Here. You have before you the minutes of the regular meeting of April 3rd, 2023. I need a motion for their approval. So moved. Trustee Rafato, second. Second. Trustee Kruger, roll call. Trustee Papantos. Yes. Trustee Vito. Yes. Trustee Lang? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Rafato? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. President Horker? Yes. Any changes to the agenda? There are no changes this evening. That brings us to the main event. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those of you who paid attention, there was an election in the village this year. We, um, our incumbents successfully retained their seats against no opposition. Uh, kind of funny, kind of not. I envy you greatly. Um, but I do think it's a wonderful statement about, um, about the job that you're doing and, uh, and the fact that nobody was uh, upset enough about you to run against any of you, but everybody um, thought that, that, was, that this is a good working board and that uh, all of your years um, have reflected well enough on you that everybody just wants to keep you guys doing what you're doing. It's, um, it's been a pleasure to work with you in all the years that I have, and I look forward to continuing that. Congratulations. Um, and congratulations on the statement of nobody challenging you. Just sincerely, that is, the, that is probably the, the best. I mean, recognition of the community that you could have gotten. So thank you. And uh, now, Clerk Brady, if you will uh, reaffirm their service to it's the for community. It's eight-year term, right? What? <laughs> eight years since we weren't. You, so yeah, so I've been on here a long time. I was here when you were first brought on board and uh, Trustee Vogel by then President Judy Abrascato. I missed your initial swearing in, Trustee Vito, but I think I've been here for everybody else. <laughs> so, I'll keep my mouth shut now, go right ahead. Ready to go. Okay, good. Raise your right hand, please. I, Ray Lang. I, Ray Lang. Having been elected to the office of village trustee. Having been elected to the office of village trustee. In the villages of Wheeling. In the villages of Wheeling. In the counties of Cook and Lake. In the counties of Cook and Lake. And said. And foresaid. Well, that's new. Do wow, solemnly <laughs> swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the Office of Village Trustee. Of the Office of Village Trustee. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Just need the sun right there. Dave. So in the, in the crowd, I have my wife, Deb, beautiful wife, Deb, my daughter, Lauren, and her fiance, Adam, and my sons, Andy and Nick, sister Rose. <laughs> and now my boy Dave's up. Thanks for that splendid introduction. <laughs> now take a seat, please. <laughs> you got the most votes, so. <laughs> Trust me. All right, raise your right hand, please. I, Dave Vogel. I, Dave Vogel. Have been elected to the office of village trustee. Have been elected to the office of village trustee. In the village of Wheeling. In the village of Wheeling. In the counties of Cook and Lake aforesaid. In the, in the counties of Cook and Lake aforesaid. 
Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. That I will faithfully discharge the duties. That I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the Office of Village Trustee. Of the Office of Village Trustee. According to the best of my abilities. According to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. So my wife Rebecca is here. I'm sorry, Becky. <laughs> my uh, my daughter Catherine, um, her husband Chris, and my two grandchildren Austin, who's supposed to be playing soccer right now, and uh, my granddaughter um, Taylor. <laughs> Thank you, and I give you Joe Vito. Raise your right hand, please. I, Joe Vito. I, Joe Vito. Having been elected to the office of village trustee. Having been elected to the office of village trustee. In the village of Wheeling. In the village of Wheeling. In the counties of Cook and Lake aforesaid. In the counties of Cook and Lake aforesaid. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. That I'll support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois and that I will faithfully discharge the duties and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of office of village trustee of office of village trustee according to the best of my abilities according to the best of my abilities congratulations thank you and this was so anticlimactic my wife asked if she should come I'm like it doesn't even feel like I won an election so <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I have nobody here today, but we're going out for her birthday tonight at City Works after this meeting. So Ray, I can't have a celebratory beer at Munich, but uh, thank you. All right. No citizens. No, no citizens. No Thomas? citizens today. Uh, we have some staff reports. Mr. Kaplan, what have we got? Yes, thank you, Mr. President. I was asked tonight to inform the residents and the businesses of Wheeling that we that the village just launched a new online payment system called Invoice Cloud, and right now it's being used for water billing purposes. Um, it's a service that allows residents and businesses to view bills, check their balances, make payments, and enroll in paperless billing. They can also schedule one-time or recurring payments, sign up for email or text notifications and reminders, and pay online by phone or by text using any of the major credit card companies, or even PayPal, Google Pay, Apple Pay, or Venmo. Since we launched this a couple weeks ago, there have been a number of questions that have come up from residents, and I thought I would address those tonight just briefly. One of the questions that came up is, if someone is participating currently in the village's ACH debit program, and that's the program where we withdraw your payment for your water bill on its due date from a bank account, do they have to do anything differently? And the answer is no. We will continue to do that. You don't have to sign up for Invoice Cloud or, or take any action to continue participating in that program. Another question that's come up is about the village's old online payment system, which was called eGov Plus, and whether or not that would be still available. And the answer is no, we've phased that out. It doesn't have the functionality that Invoice Cloud has. And um, all, we unfortunately aren't able to transfer information from the old system to the new system. So if you're interested in registering, an account with Invoice Cloud, you, you will have to start from scratch essentially to do that. Um, another question that's come up is, can I pay for building permits and businesses license, business licenses using Invoice Cloud? That's coming in the future. It's not available now, but you will be able to do that. Can I pay for parking or compliance tickets using Invoice Cloud? 
No, the village, the invoice cloud does not allow for that, but we do have a separate parking ticket um, program that you can find on our website and you can use that to, to pay your parking or compliance tickets. And then is there a charge to use invoice cloud? The answer is no, it's free and the village does not charge credit card transaction fees either. And then finally, is there a way to pay over the phone with a credit card using invoice cloud? And, and the answer is yes, there is an 800 number that you can call if you don't want to pay for your bill or pay your water bill online, you can call that 800 number and they will take your credit card payment over the phone. That number is available on our website. For anyone who's listening, it's 844-639-0101. That's all I had tonight. Thank you, Mr. Kaplan. Mr. President, I have, I have a quick question for sure. Director Kaplan. Um, will the old paper bills for those who have not opted for paperless still be sent to someone's home? Yes, you will still receive a paper bill unless you opt out enroll in paperless billing. Which I did, but um, I had a, res a neighbor bring to my attention that there was no notice or mention of this new program on their old bill. And that's because it just launched recently, so we will have that on the next couple billing cycles. Very good. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Trustee Kruger. All good? All good. Okay. Clerk Brady, consent agenda. All items listed on the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the Village Board and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a board member or citizen so requests in which event the items will be removed from the general order of business and considered after all other agenda items. 11A, resolution authorizing the village manager to execute an agreement with IO solutions for testing and administration services related to the establishment of candidate eligibility list for promotion to fire lieutenant and to authorize <laughs> I can't even talk today <clears throat> expeditors to related to eligibility list creation for entry level police and fire positions. Eleven <laughs> B resolution approving change order number zero three in the amount of fourteen thousand two hundred and thirty two dollars to the contract with Utility Dynamics Corp for the fiber optic installation project. 11C, resolution approving the renewal of a previously bid multi-partnering intuitive MPI contract with Corrective Asphalt Materials, LLC, for the asphalt <sighs> surface treatment program in the amount of $65,920 in fiscal year 2023. 11D, resolution accepting a previously bid state of Michigan contract with La Fontaine CDJR Lansing for the purchase of a 2023 Dodge Ram 3500 Pro Master Cargo Van in the total amount of 64000 $172. 11E, ordinance declaring as surplus and authorizing the disposal of personal property owned by the Village of Wheeling by recycling, trade in, donation, or public auction. 11F, resolution authorized acceptance of the State of Illinois previous bid contract with Dell Marketing for a one-year renewal of Microsoft Office 365 software license in the amount of $56,633.75. 11G, Ordinance Amending Title IX Vehicle and Traffic, Chapter 910, stopping, stopping standing or parking of the Village of Wheeling code in order to regulate parking adjusted, adjacent to the village hall. That's it. Thank you. Any questions or comments? If there are none, I would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. 
Motion, Trustee Papantos, second. Second. Trustee Vogel, roll call, please. Uh, Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Lang? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Rafato? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. President Horker? Yes. New business. New business, 13A. 13A, resolution authorizing and accepting a previous bid source wall contract with Altor Fear Industries for the purchase of one backhoe loader in the amount of $170,522.81. Mr. Svondulis, we're going to buy a John Deere tractor? We, we are, uh, and this item typically would have been uh, on the consent agenda, but I wanted to take the opportunity because the story of how, and I promise this is a short story, um, of how we got there is, does a very good job of illustrating staff's efforts in being aggressive in order to secure the best piece of equipment for the village fiscally and, and operationally. So I wanted to give Director Kalp the opportunity just to, to illustrate that for you and for the public. Thank you, Manager Spondilis. Uh, President Horker, uh, members of the board, um, yeah, tonight in front of you for your consideration is a resolution to purchase a, a backhoe uh, unit. Uh, the purchase is contemplated in the uh, Capital Equipment Replacement Fund and was scheduled for replacement next year in 2024. Uh, during staff's review of alternate makes and model options, the selection team landed on a Caterpillar, not a John oh, Deere, I, combination <laughs> backhoe and loader that met, that met uh, all color. of our department needs. Wrong color. Um, it was previously bid through an approved purchasing consortium and within budget. Um, when our staff asked what to expect for pricing in 2024, um, they were met with no firm answer, mostly due to unpredictable equipment availability, volatile uh, equipment pricing from year to year, and material and manufacturing delays. We were told to expect uh, cost increases of 10% or more um, for all makes and models, not just for Caterpillar or John Deere. Uh, based on these concerns, our selection team looked into the current availability of equipment uh, and learned that there was a unit that was available for immediate purchase. Based on the concerns that we had uh, and the, the cost of the equipment continues to increase at double-digit rates each year, a legitimate concern of equipment availability. <clears throat> and the fact that the SURF uh, had the funding available now to cover the expense, the team suggested to me that uh, we purchase the unit this year instead of waiting. Uh, Fleet and Facilities Superintendent Lana Rudnick and Utilities Superintendent Jeff Wolfgram uh, proactively contemplated the fiscal impact of making this purchase now instead of waiting for a year uh, to reflect what is in the best interest of the village. Uh, I just wanted to, to, to point out that their efforts, I think, uh, did serve uh, for us to be able to save money. Uh, so I'm hands happy to answer any questions you have um, regarding the item. No. Apparently there are no questions. Sounds good. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we need a motion to approve then. So moved. moved. Uh, I give the motion to Trustee Lang, second to Trustee Kruger. Roll call, please. Trustee Lang? Yes. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Rafato? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papanto? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. President Horker? Can they paint it? Yeah, okay, yes. Um, official communications. All in a hurry. Trustee Papantos. Uh, congratulations to Trustee Vogel, Vito, and Lang. Um, looking forward to the next, well, two years until the next election. <laughs> so at least that amount of time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Papantos. Uh, staff, nothing? If there are no other questions, we only have one other bit of business to attend to. We have the bills for April 13th through April 26th. Motion to approve? So moved. Second. Uh, motion, Trustee Vogel. Second, Trustee Rafato. Roll call, please. Trustee Kruger? Yes. Trustee Rafato? Yes. Trustee Vogel? Yes. Trustee Papantos? Yes. Trustee Vito? Yes. Trustee Lang? Yes. President Horker? Yes. Uh, there is no executive session. I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Trustee Rafato, second Trustee Kruger, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, you can stay. Whatever.